Hello. Windows 10 has a built-in reset feature that will return your computer to normal, and in this video, I'll show you how to reset your computer and make it work like new. Perhaps you wanted to sell your computer or give it to someone else, and for this you can choose the factory reset option, which will delete all personal settings, your account, passwords, files and applications, and after rebooting you will get a new Windows, as if you bought new computer. This is a really useful option that allows you to securely erase all personal data so that no one can see it after the computer is sold. Maybe you are having problems with your computer and want to get it working properly again. Then you can choose another factory reset option that will leave all your documents, photos, passwords and files in place. After a reboot, all your operating system settings will be reset, such as the amount of time for the computer to go to sleep, the mode to save battery, and so on. All these things return to their default settings. Before starting the process, make sure you watch the video to the end and that you fully understand what exactly you want to do with your computer. Also, keep in mind that what you see on your screen may well be different from mine, because Windows 10 is constantly being updated and its features may change their appearance. Also, the whole process will take some time, and if you have a laptop, connect it to a power source. And so, click the button, Start. Then, Settings. And in the window that opens, Click, Update and Security. Here click, Recovery. And on the right side, click Get Started. Here we see two reset options, which I have already talked about. First I will show what happens if you select the Keep My Files option. This option will help you get rid of computer problems and save your documents, photos, all files and passwords. I'll show you another option later. Downloading from the cloud can use more than 4 GB of data, so I choose to reinstall Windows from this device. Please note that in each parameter selection tab at the bottom left there is help in choosing, click on it, and you can see more detailed details of all steps. Click reinstall locally. Additional parameters are optional and I click next. The last step before resetting the settings, and here we can see all the applications and programs that will be removed after the restart. This list will be saved on the desktop after the reset. It may be useful for you to restore some programs. Click, back. And now click, reset. It will take quite a long time, and after the reset, your computer will restart several times. Now you don't need to do anything and just wait about 30 minutes. You can relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. And so, the process ends. And you can see that my account has been saved. I write my PIN code to log in. And here we see that I have my files on my desktop, and any other files that I have been before. In documents, and downloads, and images and so on, they all exist. If I go to the start menu, we will see that all the programs that I previously installed are completely removed, and that there are only standard Windows applications. And if I expand the start menu, we can see that my username is still there. Ip Malik. And so, Windows was reset, and I was left with my old user account, password, and all my files as well. Now let's look at the option in which we reset Windows, and delete everything to the factory settings. We click the button, Start. Then, Settings. And in the window that opens, we click, Update and Security. Here we click, Recovery. And on the right we click, Get Started. This time we click, Remove Everything. Downloading from the cloud can use more than 4 GB of data. So I choose to reinstall Windows from this device. On the settings selection page, we see that as a result of the reset, all my programs and files will be completely removed, but only on the disk where Windows is installed. Now let's see additional settings. Here we can put, yes, and just delete our files, it is faster, but not secure, since the next computer owner can easily restore them, I leave, no. If you have multiple partitions or hard drives on your computer and you put yes here, then the reset will delete all data on all drives. I don't need this either, I leave, no, and click, confirm. Next. Now I click reset and it will delete all my files, accounts and passwords, all my apps, settings and all my programs. If you're ready, click reset and wait. It will take quite a long time. But if Windows is installed on the SSD, then it will be faster. The reset process has come to an end, you can stop at this place. 
and if you want to sell your computer or transfer it to another person, then you can simply turn off your device, and the future owner will continue to install Windows himself, he will enter his account and password, for he just needs to turn on this computer, and he will turn on just at this point where Windows registration starts. Please let me know in the comments below how you are doing and if this video helped you please. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Good luck.